Sarah Teixeira, and I'm welcoming you to Monday Mindfulness. It's super cold here right now, and a lot of my clients told me that they couldn't make it this morning. So I thought instead I'd come to you and make it easy on this cold and blustery day that can be difficult for some people to navigate. I want to start with bringing the breath in and just centering yourself in the moment. You can be anywhere. I would suggest to do not do this while you're driving, but uh, find a quiet moment in your day just to give yourself a few moments to recenter, reconnect, especially with this full moon eclipse energy, things, emotions, uh, situations can feel heightened. And you may feel, some of us may feel some anxiety or even headaches. I had headaches all weekend with the upcoming eclipse. So I just wanted to offer you a chance to recenter through the breath and some aspects and teachings of mindfulness that will calm the entire system, open up all of this wonderful activity that's available to us in our brain and find that peace and center within when we feel maybe the outside world's a little chaotic. The wind is howling. It is, I don't know, I think it's like 12 degrees here, which is cold for us here in Wilmington, Delaware. So find a comfy chair and let's begin. Oh, take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth and just find yourself settling in to your seated position. You can be laying down. You don't need any fancy music or aromatherapy. All of those are aids that can help heighten the experience, but all we need is a moment to close our eyes and focus on the breath. Breathe in again through the nose and out through the mouth. If you have any breathing issues right now with the cold weather or cold, just breathe in a way that is comfortable for you and just imagine that breath, however deep you can get it, to go all the way down into the lungs, down into the diaphragm, and even imagine it traveling down to your feet. Coming fully into the present moment with your breath, adjust your position if needed, if you're a little uncomfortable. And now you've taken a few moments to just center your energy. Imagine yourself with a clean slate. Allowing yourself to simply focus on the breath entering the body. If you can, through the nose, feel the cool air traveling down your palate, all the way in the back of your throat. And if you can exhale audibly, feel that warm air exiting, feel the collapse of your diaphragm and your chest as you expel the air. Sometimes it's helpful to put your hand across your heart and a hand on your belly. Feeling that air enter and leave. Feel the warmth of your hands on your body. Good. This next breath, we're going to breathe it all the way down, imagining it going all the way down to our big toes. And right now, we're going to just focus on the toes of our feet, breathing into them, observing what is there for us. Are they a little cold? Are they tingly? Is there any pain there or tightness, stiffness? And just allow yourself to observe without judgment. If you do have any pain or discomfort in your toes or your feet, 
simply breathe into it for right now and just observe like a bystander what is there for you. Imagine the exhale if you do have anything that exists there for you, carrying it away, allowing the new breath to come in, refill and cleanse. And the exhale to release. On this next inhale, we breathe in our awareness to the whole of our foot, the tops of our feet, the bottoms, our arches. And little by little with each breath, we will bring our whole body into our awareness and alignment through peaceful and non-judgmental observation. Observe what is there for you in your feet. Breathing precious oxygen and sending it there with love and kindness, compassion. Clear away anything that resides there that causes discomfort or pain or swelling. On this next exhale, we will release the feet and bring our awareness up to our ankles, shins, and calves. Observe what is there for you. How do they feel? Can you feel your pants against your skin? Can you feel your socks on your legs? How do your ankles feel? Just allow yourself to observe without judgment. Send the breath to any pain or discomfort. And also compassion without judgment. Send it love. than any thoughts that come in and creep in. Just gently observe them. Do not scold yourself for not being able to get into the meditation. Simply imagine the thought as a bubble that you pop with a pin and return to the breath peacefully. You can give yourself a little high five for being able to return to the breath and catching yourself an escaping thought. Use the exhale as release and the inhale to refill. Imagining that beautiful breath going all the way down to your shins and your calves and your ankles and your feet. Next exhale, we release. In the inhale, we breathe it into our knees and our thighs and our hamstrings. And 
You observe the sensation of ourselves sitting or laying down, the pressure that we feel of our body against whatever surface we encounter. We observe the sensation of the clothing against our skin, any tightness or pain that we may feel here, tingling, just observe with a curious eye. <laughs> breath again, and exhale, releasing, and on this next inhale, really cleanse the area with the breath. Good. And now we bring our focus of attention and the breath to our hips and our lower belly. If it feels right, you can also place a hand on your belly to observe the area better. Breathing in and observing this part of your body. loving kindness and compassion if you're having any digestive issues or pain in your hips. Observe if your breath is able to go deeply or whether it's shallow. You can use this tool to observe whether you're holding anything here. And then use the exhale to clear. And then subsequent inhales to refill and cleanse. Really straightening your posture. Imagining that breath entering in all to all of the hip socket and all of the muscles and tendons that hold us upright, wrapping around to our lower back. On this next inhale, we are going to bring our attention and awareness to our mid belly and our mid back. You can place your hand there across your mid belly, above the belly button. Just observing what is here for you. Allowing yourself to feel the fullness of the breath, if you can. Allow those Buddha bellies to come out. And then feel the exhale, feel the retraction. Feel the belly lifting your hand as you intake a breath. And then fall as you exhale. simply observing with compassion, without judgment, releasing any pain or regret that you're holding here. This emotional center of our body. Breath. 
breath offering us a place to feel connected and heard. Allowing the exhale to carry away with it. Doesn't belong. Any pain or discomfort or swelling. And just observing, refilling with the beautiful fresh breath, cleansing. You could take a moment and check in again with your lower body, see if you're holding any of your muscles in tension. And just allow your thigh muscles to relax and your lower back muscles to relax. Observe your shoulders right now and readjust your position. You do not need to stay in an uncomfortable position during meditation. Simply move your body mindfully. Pay attention and be alert and aware. And then offer a correction of the way you're sitting, your posture, to offer relief. Stay with the breath. Now we're going to bring our attention and awareness up to our heart and our lungs. You can place your hands over your heart if you wish, crossing your hands across the front of your body. Feeling the breath, lift your hands. Observing how the breath stretches the rib cage, offering a gentle stretch all the way around to the back of the body. And remembering to only do this if it's comfortable and safe for you. Observing the breath, the warmth of your hands on your body. And observing what is present for you here in your heart and your lungs. Having difficulty breathing, send love and compassion right now to your lungs, the lining of your lungs and your airways. If you hold emotional pain in your heart, simply offer the breath as a gift. And with that gift, love and compassion. For the warmth of your hands and the exhale to release anything that doesn't belong. Imagine this expanding all the way around to the ribs that connect in the back, in your mid back. Gently roll your shoulders back if you can. You can remove your hands to your lap now. And just feel yourself. Notice the state of your heart and your lungs now and your breathing. Offer gratitude hundreds of thousands of times your heart beats within this body to keep you alive in this world. Mm. Now I want you to imagine that glow from the heart and the lungs traveling down through the nose, down the palate, across your collarbones and down into your arms elbows, your wrists, your hands and fingers. Offering the breath, bringing warmth
warmth to your fingertips on this cold day. Observing if you're holding anything here, any pain here, discomfort. Rolling your shoulder back one at a time, offering a stretch. Pointing your nose down and you're bringing your chin to your chest. Offering a gentle stretch all the way down the back from the base of your head. And now gently bringing your nose back to center. And now we offer a stretch of the front of our neck by bringing our nose all the way up to the sky. We're, like we're looking at that beautiful moon, that beautiful lunar eclipse that we saw last night. Breathing deeply, offering a stretch down the front of our neck and all the way across our collarbones, feeling that opening that the breath offers, releasing any tension held here and bringing your nose back to center gently. right ear to our right shoulder, breathing in and exhaling and offering a stretch to the left side of our neck, all the way down into our shoulder. We gently bring our head back to center Pause for a moment and then offer the left ear to the left shoulder, offering a stretch all the way down the neck into the shoulder. Breathing deeply and allowing the stretch to go further, feeling that release, feeling the breath that comes in cleansing and refilling. And gently bringing our heads back to center. We now bring our attention and focus of awareness to our heads, the whole of our heads, our jaw, our nose, our sinuses, our eyes, our ears, our temple, our forehead, and if you find yourself with any tension in your face, offer the palms of your hands cupped over that area, perhaps it's your jawline holding tension. Or perhaps it's your ears having a hard time hearing. Perhaps tension being held in your temples and your forehead and pressure from sinuses. Simply place your hands there and offer the warmth and then breathe in, observing and releasing. Allowing yourself to feel the warmth and the loving attention that you're giving to your own body. Now taking 
one or two last breaths. And imagining that breath going all the way back down into the body, bringing awareness to the whole of your body once again. All the way into your fingertips and all the way into your toes, swirling down and around your body. This life-sustaining oxygen. Enlivening all the synapses in our brain, expanding our awareness. Exhale, one last time, and bring your full awareness back to the weight of your body and the position that you have it in. Bring your awareness back to your fingers and your toes, moving your body gently. until you open your eyes again and rejoin the room. Good, thank you. So, I hope that you are able to, at some point, find a release where you're holding tension in your body or pain in your body, allowing yourself to feel that powerful moment where you can steer the opening and then the release of anything that you're carrying in your physical body. I have many of my clients who say that they don't understand why, but a pain has disappeared during one of the mindfulness meditations. And we don't realize that sometimes when we carry discontent about whatever pain is causing us. Um, if we have uh, headaches or if we have a pain that is constantly nagging in our shoulder or constantly having stomach problems, that we restrict around that area and we don't trust it. And when we distrust ourselves, then we're sending kind of like a negative vibe to that area and saying, I don't trust you to do your job. So, one aspect of mindfulness is just looking at whatever's going on in your body with love and compassion and without judgment. Simply saying, I have pain in my shoulder. Not, I have pain in my shoulder and I can't do what I want to do and I can't reach up into the cupboard. But simply, I have pain in my shoulder. And breathing into it and seeing if you can't offer the breath to offer a release. So I encourage you to stay with some type of mindfulness practice. There are many videos online uh, that offer mindfulness practice and I hope you'll join me some Monday at noon. I changed the time to noon so that perhaps some lunchtime mindfulness meditation warriors will join me. And I really want to bring this to you because I believe that it is a tremendous tool that we can use to heal ourselves, to be present for ourselves, to really observe what is going on within the physical body. And it will affect our overall happiness, health, and connection. So I wish you a happy Monday, happy full moon. May you go out and conquer whatever it is you need to face this week with peace within. And remember, you can always, in a snap, just return to the breath in just a moment and bring yourself right back to that moment where you felt peace and love and calm and a sense of, I've got this. So, I love you all. Take care. Namaste.